there's no need to fear. Underdog is here. Time again for the Underdog Show, starring that champion of champions, Underdog. <laughs> Under cover of darkness, something strange began happening all over town. Real phone booths were being removed, and phony booths were being put in their places. It happened at office buildings, railroad stations, Everywhere. But why? The answer was to be found in the laboratory of Simon Barr Sinister. I finished the job, boss. I put those phony boots all over town. Good kid. Now the fun begins. But I don't get it, boss. I would be glad to demonstrate if there was someone here we could use. Ah, the milkman. Come in. Your dairy office called here and asked that you call them back at once. Oh, yeah. Uh, well, uh, gee, uh, where's the phone? They're right inside this booth, my friend. <laughs> Simon says. I will do as Simon says. Gee, boss, he looks like he's been hypnotized. <laughs> exactly, Ken. Just watch. Simon says, march. Simon says, turn right. Simon says, rear march. Rear march, rear march, rear march. Simon says, <laughs> That's great, boss. Will he do anything you tell him? Anything. Milkman, go to your truck and smash all your milk bottles. I guess he did it all right. We don't have to guess, Cat. Look here in my special viewing screen. Wowee! What a mess. And now, watch how he takes orders, no matter how far away. <laughs> Simon says, get in your truck and drive north. Simon says, turn right. Simon says, turn left. Simon says, turn completely around. says, run your truck into a telephone pole. Simon says, get out of your truck, go home, and wait for further orders. Now you see, Cad, anyone who steps into one of these phony booths will be completely in my power. Yeah, boss, and sooner or later, everybody goes into a phone booth. Even underdog. Exactly. Soon, everyone, everywhere will be in my power. And I shall rule the world. <laughs> 
Is Simon right? Will his phony boots give him control of everyone, even underdog? Will Simon really rule the world? Go, 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 first watch him. Go, go, go. Two little Indians, no others near. Colonel, he vows these two soon disappear. Fighting the army blue soldiers galore. What can two Indians do? Go, 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 first watch him. Go, go, go. Go, 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 first watch him. Go, go, go. Here comes the Colonel with his sergeant. Both are roaring and a charging. Go, 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 first watch him. Go, go, go. Go, 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 first watch him. Go, go, go. Sergeant, I'm never going to catch those Indians on this slow old horse. What I need is the fastest horse in the territory. Well, that would be the Great White Stallion. Bully, bully. Where can I buy him? Can't. The Great White Stallion is a wild horse. Anyway, you can't catch him. He's too fast and too smart. Nonsense, Sergeant. Regulation 2578 clearly says army colonels are smarter than horses. I'll catch that horse. Colonel looking for great white stallion? <laughs> him have him long look. No such animal. <laughs> oh, we gonna be great white stallion. Whoopie doopie, you am genius. All right now, Sergeant. Where would that great white stallion be? No set place. That critter's liable to be anywhere. Hmm. There he is, up ahead. <laughs> well, I'll be. Charge! Where did he go? This time, Sergeant, we'll stay on our horses. There he is. Charge! Charge! Told you, Colonel. We'll never catch that horse. Nonsense, Sergeant. The next time, we'll just sneak up on him quietly. <coughs> ah, there he is, Sergeant, behind that bush. Now follow me. I'll give him some sugar. Hey, nice horsey. Nice horsey. <laughs> good, good horsey. You see, Sergeant, nothing to it. Colonel's pardon, but why don't we just forget about that horse? Nonsense. Never let it be said, Sergeant, that I, Colonel Kit Coyote, couldn't outsmart a horse. We'll build a trap. There it is, Sergeant Colonel Kit Coyote's foolproof horse trap. First, we'll bait it with this bag of oats. The great white stallion will come to get the oats, and when he does, we'll cut the rope and... Maybe it was a foolproof trap, but it sure wasn't horseproof. Look there. A ruffled feather. Running. <laughs> what did he say? Him say we threw horsing around. Hey, let me out of here. This is strictly against regulations. No caging colonels. It says right here. Stop! Halt! D don't miss our next episode. There'll be lots more horse play.
England. Did I tell you how I started out to swim the Atlantic Ocean? But, Commander, that's 3,000 miles. Precisely. I plan to swim from England to the USA. I swam steadily, and then a tremendous storm came up. But I fought on. Courage, you know. Finally, the ocean calmed. I'd been thrown off my course, my compass was gone, and then, suddenly, I saw a tremendous school of man-eating sharks. Hopelessly outnumbered, there was only one thing to do. Swim for it! I was constantly looking over my shoulder as the ferocious sharks gained on me. I smashed straight into the beach. And sharks behind you? Well, what happened? I struck the beach with such speed, I continued driving across the land for 50 miles, straight out into the Pacific Ocean. The Pacific Ocean? Precisely. Far off my course, instead of the United States, I had struck land in Panama and cut through from one ocean to the other. And... I know. That's how you dug the Panama Canal. What? and see what happens. A bank president, on his way to work, stepped into one of Simon's phony booths. I will do as Simon says. Simon says, go to your bank, take one million dollars and put it in a paper bag. I will do Simon says. My goodness, sir. What in the world are you doing? Simon says, hit him. Simon says, bring the money here to me. I will do what Simon says. Now, let's see what is happening in another booth. At the army post, General Baldy Dash left his troops to make a phone call. But, of course, the booth he stepped into was a phony booth. just leaving one of Simon's phony boots. Simon says, bring your train to me. I will do as Simon says. I will do as Simon says. Hey, Fred, you gone wild or something? You got the train off the track. Simon says, 
At Fail University, a group of students were trying to see how many people they could get into one phone booth. But the booth happened to be a phony booth. giant crime wave that Simon was causing soon reached humble, lovable shoeshine. This is terrible. It looks like a job for underdog. And in unreal life, shoeshine was himself underdog. Quickly, he hurried to a nearby phone booth where he could change into underdog. But, of course, this was one of Simon's phony booths. Simon says, I will do as Simon says, I will do as Simon says. I've done it, I've done it, I've finally got underdog in my power. You've done it, you've done it. We've got underdog. We've got underdog. We've got underdog. We've got underdog.